Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan, welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith, we're going to be making a scrolling jig to make some scrolls. Okay, I'm out of my comfort zone here. I don't do scrolls, I don't do scrolls, so don't, I don't particularly, they don't float my boat particularly, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, and I think it's a point of honesty, you've got to push yourself, you've got to do things you don't like in order to get better. This is part of blacksmithing, this is a big part of blacksmithing, got to get better at it. So enjoy the video, watch me struggle, and I'll see you on the other side. Right, for the jig, I'm going to be using a piece of mild steel. This is 40 by 10, which is like inch and a, inch and a half by 3 8. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to fish tail this out ever so slightly, so that one end becomes about 55. Two inches and a quarter, just over two inches, or just under two inches and a quarter. So we're going to fish lick one end, and then we're going to bring the other end down to 25 mil, which is the material that I'm going to be making the scrolls out of. So we're going to get on with that, and uh, see you in a minute. Okay, so we've got our bar tapered up now. Uh, it's 55 at the end, so just over two inches, and uh, it's 25 mil this end, which is uh, an inch. And then at its thickest point, it's uh, three eighths or 10 mil. And then it tapers basically the whole way through to the end. It's, it comes a bit more consistent this bit, but that's, uh, that's fine. So now I'm gonna scroll it up. Uh, I'm not very good at this. So you can all laugh at me at home whilst I mess this up. So I'll show you all the highlights, all the, the low lights and the highlights, and then um, every time it screams at me and calls me a moron, I'll try and put that in there as well. Okay, so um, the mess has been made, um, and I've got a scroll, kind of. I'm reasonably happy with it. And I've now got a piece of the 25 by eight, which is what we're actually using to make the scrolls out of. And I've just cleaned off some of the scale off the bottom of the scroll, uh, the jig, and I've just cleaned off the scale from my bar. I'm just gonna weld it across as many of the sort of like contacts as air, contact areas as possible so that um, gives it a bit of rigidity and also I can hold it in a vice, in a leg vice. Okay, so I'm gonna go over using the jig. I've got myself a piece of 25 by eight mil, which is inch by five sixteenths, and I've marked 120 mil from one end, so that's uh, four inches and three quarters, roughly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this down into a taper. I want this about 200 mil long, so that will be about eight inches in length. I'm going to I'm being a bit eager here with this much material. I might end up just pulling the taper ever so slightly back. Now I did these under the power hammer today uh, for the ones that I've done. I'll show you some of those in a little bit, but they took no time at all. However, I'm going to show you some really nice tricks to draw these out super quick. Okay, so what we're going to work on is um, a drawing out technique to speed up your tapers so you don't have to mess around so much, not that they're hard to do. Um, so I'm going to come onto the bit, round side of my hammer, this is about a two and a half pound hammer, and I'm going to work down the length of my hammer, uh, of my metal, 
flip it over to exactly the same length again. Just kick this nice and straight. Not coming up as high for this second heat. Same again. Same position as before. Okay, so I've basically forged it down in this direction and it's going to come out in this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it hot again. Okay, same again. So I'm just going to take a run towards the very end. So um, I'm not going to forge that side in other than just to straighten it up. But what you can see I've done is I've moved that over. What you can see that I've done is I've created a taper this way, but it's also done the opposite taper the other side. Well, I hope you can see that. Just straighten it up, tighten it up a bit. Okay, like so. So that's the first step. So it tapers this way. However, it also tapers back from that direction. So I'm going to get this hot again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up onto my bick again. I'm going to take flat side of my hand this time. And start forging the material the other way. Come back up to the anvil. through that length. And I'm just forging it down into the taper that I want now. Um, and what you have to bear in mind is as you forge it down into a taper, it's going to spread in this direction. So I'm going to continue to do this until it becomes our 25 mil. You can use your a round hammer or a fuller to help spread that material where you want it. Like so. So it opens up nicely and then we can tidy it up at the end uh, with a, just running the hammer over it to flatten it out nicely. So just going to rinse and repeat this now. Uh, I'm using the round side of my hammer here on the flat of the anvil just to push the material about a bit. Just to get... So if there's a bit and I need it to move over that way, I can hit, use the round on my hammer and it will push some of that material over. It doesn't matter if it looks a mess, we're, we're trying to move material, we're not trying to... We're not trying to get it perfect just yet, we need to get that material where we need it. Okay, I can tell you a lot that I've got quite clean forge work and um, I'm not 100% I'm not sure that I do compared to some others. However, um, I can give some advice. If, <laughs> if, you, if you're trying to clean up your forge work and you want it to look tidy, now this is, this is one of the things I think that makes the scrolls look nice, is evenness. An even taper and uh, an even, even forged section and to do that basically takes a little bit of, a little bit of time um, so firstly make sure everything's nice and straight and even and then like in my anvil video use the anvil to do most of the work the anvil's a nice flat base so if I forge across this distance this side's going to be nice and clean I'm going to flip that over now and then do it on the other side I'm working down in these slightly colder temperatures now I'm just and the other thing that you want to be conscious of is don't let the scale build up on your anvil. If you let it build up on your anvil, it's going to cause you all sorts of problems. We're going to start smashing that scale as you work. And uh, again, it's going to give you some horrible outcomes. Okie dokie. Right. Um, it's not quite 200 mil long, but this is the last scroll I have to do uh, to complete this exercise. Um, so basically... 
uh, just tidied the end up with a with a grinder. You could do it with a file or whatever. I just wanted it to look nice and smart, but everything else is forged. That nice even transition there. Right, I'm gonna get this hot. I'm gonna start it off in the scrolling jig, and I'm gonna go over using the scrolling jig and how I'm gonna use it, tools I'm gonna use, and uh, hopefully we'll end up with a nice-ish scroll. Okay, I'm a fool. I got this fly press in the way. Um, so I have to probably take this jig out of here and move it, but that's okay. It's gonna give us the opportunity to do this in a couple of sections. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start this off by matching up with the very beginning of my scroll, just like so. And I'm using a set of scrolling pliers to do that. Okay, so I've turned the jig round now and I'm gonna come in here and grab, shouldn't have put this on this. Maybe I'll make a stand for it now that I've learned my lesson. Okay, so I'm concentrating on keeping it started at the very beginning here. So I want this to match up nicely and be quite flat. And then what I'm going to do is just come drop it down a little bit and I'm going to bend it round just a touch more. Just on that last bit of the heat that we've got left. And then if I don't knock the light over, I'm going to take that back out. That's the start of our scroll. Now, this is a bit flat. I am going to fix that in a minute, but that's the start of our scroll. Okay, so I've turned the jig around for a third time. And now what happens once you get about this far round, the scroll itself actually locks into the jig. So you don't necessarily need to hold it with a, uh, a set of um, pliers anymore. Um, but it does help to get yourself a set of scrolling dogs. And then what you can do, I'm just gonna try and get this end in a bit more. I'll get that hot in a second. Yeah, and then just help persuade it round. So there, there's our scroll coming out of the scroll jig quite nicely now. Uh, I'm just gonna take it over to the anvil. I'm just gonna make sure everything's square and I'm just gonna keep it tidy, but I'm gonna get it hot again and carry on round. Okay, and then finally, I'm just, uh, just before I lose all the heat in this tip, I'm just gonna bring the tip in, just make sure that it follows that round nicely. That's much better. And then uh, I'm gonna grab these scrolling dogs again hook her in and uh, bend it round, just like so. And as, as it starts following round, yeah, it's looking really nice, looking really tidy. So what you want to do is also just make sure that as you're scrolling this up, you're dropping it down onto the form as you're going round. Uh, but there we are, we're coming along quite nice. So um, one last heat, I did say this was my last one, but I'm gonna try one last heat. I'm gonna go all the way around here now and get a nice long heat on here. I changed the battery in the camera, so I didn't quite get the heat that I wanted. So I'm gonna run this all the way around and finish our scroll. Okay, final promise now, last one. <laughs> just gonna get that in there and just gonna come all the way around now. Oh, look at that go. I've turned this jig around for the last time. I. Uh, just wanted to get all the way round with this one, just show it in its entirety. Get that nice and tight on there. Make sure it's looking all nice. Get it all nice and locked in. Lovely, okay, and uh, there, you, there you have it. There's your scrolling jig doing your scrolls for you. Um, and to be honest with you, that's all I've got. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
for potentially. Okay. And what's the point of making a jig like this? Well, it's to ensure consistency. And the job that I'm working on is requiring me to do a couple of things so that I can get things looking nice and sharp, but consistent. So we've got our scrolls here, and there's a pair there, there's two here. And then we've got two there as well. And there's a little tiny discrepancy here, but other than that, they're pretty much bang on. And then you've got the heels at the back there, which I forged, there's no need to jig those up. And then we've got these curved pieces here. And this is gonna be for a hood, I've got my bits at the end there. This is gonna be a, for a hood, for a house, a cover, for a front door. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it basically. Okay, thank you for joining me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and learned lots with me. Um, I've learned loads today and thank you to Elliot for helping. His link to his Instagram is in uh, the description below. He's helped me loads today create these, or uh, yesterday in fact, um, but uh, I've pushed myself. I'm out of my comfort zone. I'm doing things that I don't enjoy doing so I can get better. If you don't do this, you're not going to get better. If you're not gonna push yourself and struggle, you're not going to get better. You have to learn how to deal with adversity. You have to learn to deal with problems and issues if you want to succeed. Um, so yeah, really enjoy this project. I take these projects on because I want to get better at every aspect of blacksmithing. I want to you have, you know, have that abilities and those skills to share with other people. I still got a long way to go with scrolls. So I'm nowhere near good enough. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, please make sure you ring that bell for notifications because it tells you every time I make a video. I'm trying to make videos as often as possible. We're getting out one a week at the minute. I'm doing quite well at that. And also we're doing the lives every other weekend, every other Saturday about nine o'clock uh, British uh, Greenwich Mean Time or British Summer Time or whatever one it is. I can't remember. It's always something different here. So yeah, definitely check me out on those. There some really good responses to the Instagram posts. Loads of people asking about was the videos coming out for this, that and the other. So that's done really well as well. So thank you to everyone that replied to me on the Instagram. Uh, if, you, if you just want to see a little bit more different stuff, go and check out the Instagram. Good way to uh, find out more and see other things. Um, raffle will be on the 22nd of February. There are some tickets left if you want to get hold of them. You can win a proper hammer, a t-shirt. You get one of the, uh, trust me, I'm a blacksmith t-shirt. It's not the polar next to the t-shirt ones uh, and also a key ring for first place t-shirt and key ring for second place and a key ring for third place and shipped uh, pretty much anywhere I think I think it's like 20 pounds shipping is covered but after that then you have to pay a little bit towards it so um, yes definitely go and check out the Instagram for those link in the description for those there's also tools hammers tongs all sorts of loveliness on the Etsy for you to get hold of so you can do your blacksmithing at home um, let me know what you think of the Etsy as well down in the comments I'm always keen for feedback on any of the videos uh, patreon go and check out uh, the patreon if you want to pledge do the three dollar pledge for the minute because all of the other pledges will at some point be changing so don't bother with those at the minute um, I will be getting around to fiddling about and sorting things on there soon uh, that is everything Thank you for joining me. I will leave a link up here to a video of me making the Victorian cranes because there's a heel tendon thing in there that might be interesting to people that relates to these. Uh, another video here and here from YouTube, things that they might you might like. And then this is a subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. Goodbye.